guess creativity is just being like stupid enough not to realize you can't do something and you just go and do it. When we set out to make monsters, the goal we all had was to make the world's most realistic monster movie. I started thinking, oh, what would be really interesting is, is if you had a monster movie that was set like years after most monster movies end, like when people aren't running and screaming anymore, you know, life goes on, it's, it's kind of normal. I'm quite surprised that people, after they see the film, some people ask, did you shoot it on 35 mil? You know, did you shoot it on like, what professional kit, kit did you use? How big was your crew? When you tell them it was just two people and it was just like a prosumer camera, they sort of don't believe you. And you know, and that you did all the effects you know, in your bedroom and they kind of think you must be lying. The great thing about doing computer graphics is that you can have very little money to make something and you can make it look like twice, you know, 10 times the budget that you have. What is that? Whoa. Like, you can go in the shop now and you can buy a laptop that's faster than the computers they use to make Jurassic Park on. The main thing that was stopping people using, like, prosumer equipment and going making a Hollywood film, it used to be that the resolution was different, but now with high-definition cameras and TV and stuff, that's technically, that's cinema resolution. We shot in Mexico, Belize, Guatemala, Costa Rica and Texas. We were all in the back of a bus literally just jumping out, shooting a scene, jumping back in the bus. We were essentially turning up and within five minutes saying, can we film you, can be, you be in a movie, can we go in your house, can we film your kids? And they were all like, yeah, you know, fine, great. And they all got it. We also had our editor and an assistant who were staying in the hotels that were cutting the film on a laptop. They would start editing the scene straight away and we would go off and film the next day. Sound, in a weird way, becomes more important than visuals. Like, you can paint a really big scale world through what you hear, you don't have to see it all. You forgive a bad image if you can clearly hear the sound well, but you don't forgive a great image if the sound is terrible. As small as the crew we wanted, it was important to have a proper sound guy record all the sounds properly. Things that were true 10 years ago are no longer true anymore. You can do stuff at home. I mean, you can, we did do stuff at home that is now gonna be in the cinema and, and people can't tell the difference. So it's completely liberating people. And I, I think like the rules that used to apply to me when I was in film school like are no longer true. Like there's nothing stopping you just going out and buying a camera, learning how to use the computer and, 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 and making your own movie. I mean, essentially on a, on a slightly bigger scale, that's what we did with Monsters. <laughs>